Diluting a solution will lead to a reduction in its concentration logically. So when diluting an acid, particularly strong acids, that is those that 100% ionize, naturally we expect the pH to increase towards 7s since there is a greater amount of water surrounding your hydrogen ions. However, what happens to the pH of a strong alkaline solution when they are diluted? Consider you take an alkaline solution with a pH of 8. This already tells us that there is a very small concentration of hydrogen ions per litre of water. But that's the key, it's a measure of moles of hydrogen ions per litre of water. If we convert this pH into concentration using 10 to the negative pH, we get 1 times 10 to the negative 8, a super small concentration. And since the sum of pH and pOH is 14, pOH must equal 6 and this can be converted to the hydroxide ion concentration, giving us this. So for every liter of water of our strong base, we have 1 times 10 to the negative 6 ions of hydroxide. Diluting a 10 ml volume of this strong base, for example sodium hydroxide, to make up 1 liter will be a change of two pH values, but which way? We'll use maths to solve this issue. Because it's being diluted, we can use the C1V1 equation. Initial concentration of a hydroxide is 1 times 10 to the negative 6 times the volume, which is 0.01 litres, that is 10 mils. C2 is the unknown and the new volume is 1 litre. Solve for C2 gives us this. We'll convert this hydroxide ion concentration into BOH using the BOH equals the negative log of hydroxide ions. This gives us 8. And we know that pH plus pOH equals 14, so pH equals 6. So in this example, the pH moves towards neutral by two values, and it makes sense. Adding more water to a basic solution will reduce the hydroxide ion concentration, so it should become more neutral, or less basic.